Veronica Diaz is missing. She's been gone for over a year, since January 18th of 2020. She's 24, Hispanic, brown hair, brown eyes, 4'9", weighs between 130 and 150. Her hair was currently dyed burgundy at the time that she went missing. She hasn't been seen since January 18th, around 1.10 a.m. She returned home from a night out with her friends and her Yukon was found outside of her house. Her keys and wallet, along with cash, were inside the vehicle. Veronica has not been seen or heard from since. She's reached out to nobody. Please share her story. Because there's not a minute, a second, a day goes by. I just want to hold my daughter and not let her go. It's not fair. Why can't they find her? Tina Cortez says it's been 18 months of hell not knowing what happened to her daughter. 23-year-old Veronica Reyes Diaz tucked her very small boys into bed, then vanished. Her father, Fidencio Minjares, has never given up looking for her. We were told she took off. Yeah, she was, that's impossible. Every, ch every chance she got, she was here. She was involved. You know, she, she didn't take off. Veronica wouldn't do this. <laughs> she wouldn't. She loves her babies. And I just want her home. Or at least be able to get answers for her kids. If she's not alive, at least be able to lay her to rest. Those babies deserve it, and she deserves it. Detectives with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office say it simply doesn't add up. Veronica went out to a restaurant that night with friends. Her sister, Victoria, watched the two older boys. Her infant son stayed home with his dad here in Dover. She takes both the children inside, uh, tucks them into bed. Everything seems fine. Her husband's asleep in his room with the other child. And uh, the two children have been interviewed, and they say they hear mommy go back outside. After that, that's it. Uh, Veronica's never seen or heard from that we know of that we can verify again. That was around 1 a.m. back in January of 2020. They say Veronica left behind her SUV with her keys, purse, wallet, and cash inside. The sheriff's office put out this podcast hoping to get some answers by telling her story. Veronica's husband told detectives he was asleep and doesn't know what happened. He is not a suspect. And that's the thing, we really don't know what happened between that 1.10 and that 6 a.m. Uh, or 6.30 time frame. He wakes up in the morning, he realizes that their family car is there, but he doesn't see Veronica. Um, realizes that that's a little weird. Not weird so much that she's not there, but if she wasn't there, he wouldn't expect to see the car there. Uh, you know, maybe she stayed out with friends or something else like that, but that wasn't the case. And you have a lot of ponds, no legs, and we searched around. Days later, Veronica's parents, along with more than 100 volunteers, searched the woods near her mobile home park. But nothing, not a trace of Veronica, no answers for her boys. And Grandma help you. Are you fine? No, Grandma happy. Let me kiss. Go over there, Grandma. They want their mommy. We don't know what to tell them, except hopefully soon. She wouldn't do this to her kids. It's hard. Very hard. I miss her every day. You have no answers. None. That's the hardest part. I don't know if I want to give up or just keep going. It's been a year. It's sad but true, you know, but I mean, life has to continue. Life has to go on. But, I mean, it's always in my mind, you know. Where's she at? What happened to her? You know, I'm to the point where I just want closure. I want something.